The laptop we decided to show you in detail in the next few minutes is a visual evidence of the claim less is more when it comes to looks. Along with this, it could be called reliable, functional and relatively affordable. We are pleased to draw the curtain over the HP ProBook 6570B. The shape is classic and the main material used is metal but there is also polycarbonate. Both, however, are treated so they are not easy to stain or harm. Two colors are combined for this laptop's appearance, grey and silver. The opening mechanism is stable and there is a locking option for it. You can see on your screens now what the 6570B looks like. We can only add to the picture its dimensions. 374mm width, 251mm depth and a thickness of 34mm. And the weight is just right for a machine like that, 2.5kg. What surprised us was HP's choice of display and the fact that you can actually choose between two options. Yes, there are two separate displays available as configuration to that model, so when buying it you can choose one based on your personal preferences. Both versions have a diagonal of 15.6 inches, but the resolution is either 1366 by 768 pixels or HD plus 1600 by 900 pixels. Also, the LED backlit technology guarantees more realistic looking colors. The display is visible enough in direct sunlight because of its anti-glare cover. The viewing angle is not as wide as in other products. You don't need anyone sitting close to you to be picking at your files, right? So, that's on purpose and also considered an extra usually found in the more expensive business class laptops. Another great feature of the screen is the possibility to open it to fully horizontal position. Centrally located above the display we find the HD webcam with 720p. According to our tests, the image transmitted in Skype video calls was completely satisfying. Another new feature, but on a software level, is the face recognition. The keyboard is Ion style. On the right side there is a numpad and underneath a fingerprint reader. The touchpad is located not in the center but a little bit to the left and is wide enough. It's also multi-touch with not two but four buttons and has gesture recognition. At the periphery of the 6570B we find four USB ports, two of which are the 10 times faster version 3.0 a display port, stereo outputs for headphones and microphone, and their J standard 11 and 45. Also a VGA output. The card reader is Express Card 54, recognizing SD and MMC. The bottom of the laptop is where a docking station could be connected and also where you can put a second battery. The choice of optical device is reduced to the following three options. A DVD-ROM, a DVD-RW Super Multi-DL, and the multifunctional DVD combined with Blu-ray. When it comes to hardware, there are also various options in this HP ProBook. The processors are 5 Intel Core i3 and i5 plus Dual Core Intel Core i7-3520M. With 4 MB L3 cache, it runs at 2.9 GHz and in Extreme Turbo Boost it jumps to 3.6 GHz. The maximum for the RAM memory is 16 GB SD RAM DDR3 1600 MHz. The hard disk could be the impressive flash-based solid-state drive with a size of 128 and 256 GB. If you prefer to bet on a classic hard, it will be up to 500 GB SATA to 7200 RPM. For the graphics, there is AMD Radeon HD 7570M with 1 GB GDDR5 of its own memory. The batteries could be two types, 6 and 9 cell lithium-ion with up to 7 or 13 hours capacity per charge. 